Hello once again, this is Kubo, and welcome to episode 4 of my Mega Man 1 playthrough. So this is the episode things are probably going to get a little more interesting, because I've mentioned previously how I sort of went through and test played a lot of these episodes, or a lot of these levels, so that- Whoa, what the hell are you, buddy? Um, <laughs> so that I wouldn't be walking into this completely blind after having been used to all of the more recent games for so long. What I haven't mentioned up until now is that I only played through Electman stage, so everything here, it's gonna have been like probably seven or eight years since I've played any of these stages, from Iceman all the way through the last Wily stage. So I can't really guarantee how this is all gonna go from here on, because I felt like it went decently well. There were a uh, couple of stressful moments, but up until now I thought things went fairly positively, and I, yeah, I can't really promise that that'll be the case anymore. Oh wow, they really amped up his sliding. Oh my goodness, okay. I hadn't noticed that since I'd been underwater so much. This is gonna be interesting. Oh no. Yoku blocks, really? Oh my. Okay. Whew! So yeah, in a way, I'm actually as new to these levels as I'm sure a lot of you are. Because again, I haven't done this in a long time. Ah, okay. I get it. Right here. Oh, dang it. I needed to just go up. Whoa. Hey, I despawned the little slidey guy. Well, that makes this a lot nicer. Okay. Over. Ah! Okay. Okay, Woo. and we're through. Yeah, I have no idea how much longer this level's gonna be. I... There, thank you, sliding mechanics. Ah, <laughs> oh, really? And they put me back to this one? Okay. So, yeah, inexperience is getting the better of me so far. Do I have... Okay, I do have one more life, so that's good. Ah, okay, so I do need to jump across there. Oof. Ah! Oh my god, I am so sorry. This is going terribly. It really would not be so bad, but for the slidey guy here, I keep focusing on him and forgetting about the block order. Ah! Or just, you know, hitting jump too late. Oh god. No! Oh my lord. <laughs> I am so sorry, unless seeing me struggle brings you some great joy, in which case you're welcome. <laughs> oh, if I have to restart this whole level, I am not going to be happy. You know what? Wait a second. How did I not think of this before? Ah! Ha ha! The cheese! Let's see. Ha ha! There we go! Well, there's one problem solved. Yeah, I really wish I had thought of that sooner. Oh god. Oh, I almost slid and died again. I actually forgot that was going to be happening. Okay. Some ammo back for that. Ah! 
I'm not entirely sure if I didn't have the magnet beam how I would get onto this guy. That's kind of uncool. Oh, he just takes a really long time to go back down. Oh my. This area is not fun. And we are resetting, apparently. So this, hey, this might be the longest Mega Man episode so far. Hooray. Okay. I don't remember these goofy looking green guys. I know there are some enemies in later Mega Mans that look a lot like them, but I just didn't remember these guys specifically. <laughs> um, well, I guess since I've got nothing much else on my mind, um, admittedly I don't know how old most of you listening to this are going to be, but I'll, I'll assume that at least some of you grew up around the same time I did. Um, and so hopefully remember the Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon, which even those of you who didn't grow up then might know, it's the one that's got the really cheesy theme song where it's like, Super Fighting Robot Mega Man. It's, it's glorious. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't. Um, <laughs> anyway, they just announced not too long ago, might have even been yesterday, that they're doing a new Mega Man cartoon series, which I am really thrilled about. I hope it'll be good. Because that show, while it honestly wasn't great, I still have very fond memories of it, because it was a lot of fun. And I mean, you know, I I'd say it's probably kind of like a guilty pleasure cartoon of mine. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna cheese this nonsense again. Oh, friggin' hell. Oh, come okay. Or apparently we aren't. Um. Uh, but yeah, I'd say it's kind of a guilty pleasure cartoon of mine. Because it's, it's not great. And I know that. But it's still a lot of fun. And I, like I said, I'm really hoping that this new one will be at least decently good because it's been a long time since we've had I mean anything like that really like any sort of Mega Man show specifically and I well, I'm looking forward to it I'm cautiously optimistic I'm I'm really happy seeing a lot of these shows that I loved as a kid coming back like Thundercats came back a few of course that's when he turned around. Came back a couple years ago, which I didn't get to watch much of, but I heard it was at least decent. Um, and then, let's see, Voltron is coming back, which anyone who knows what Voltron is, then kudos. It was... <laughs> for those of you who maybe were too young to have ever watched Voltron, it's that thing they made a lot of jokes about in Deadpool with the lion bots forming into one super lion bot. Uh, that's gonna be on Netflix sometime early June, I think, and I... Oh, man. That one I'm super excited for. Because I always loved Voltron. Haha! -ha, despawned him again. All you have to do is get him off screen. That's pretty nice. Okay, that one is much less needing of cheese. Oh! Ah, no, stop it. Oh god, okay. So, before when I was uh, saying, I guess last episode, when I was talking about how horrible the Lechman stage is, that was speaking from not having played this one in forever. So, you know, I, I now am aware of my mistake. <laughs> Because this is god-awful! Oh, oh thank goodness there's a life there. Can I get it? Okay, well I got these, so that's nice. What's funny is that Iceman himself is going to die almost instantly. 
assuming that they recreated this version of the game as faithfully as they stated they did, and as I believe they did, there's a hilarious way to use the Elec Beam, or I guess it's technically just called the E-Beam, but what the hell else would it be? You get it from Elec Man. Um, but a way to use the Elec Beam that just destroys bosses. So it'll be really useful here on Iceman and on the Yellow Devil, since it's both of their weaknesses. Ah. Uh, Alright, well I didn't quite get to pull it off, but the gist of it is that you pause while the Elec Beam is overriding his sprite, and when you unpause the invincibility frames are gone. So, if you can do that quick enough, it'll just rack up damage, because you just keep pausing and unpausing while it's right on top of them, and it just kills them crazy fast. I was mashing the pause button, but it wasn't really working there, so it might have been... I mean, I noticed that was game was having sprite limit issues again. Maybe they recreated it a bit too faithfully. Um, regardless, that is another episode... Admittedly, a much longer and more painful episode than I expected it to be. Thank you guys very much for joining me. And I guess just on a quick note before I leave, I did notice while rewatching some of my older ones before uploading them that I was saying stuff like, oh, you know, a lot. So I apologize for that, and I'm going to try and be more conscious of little vocal habits such as that and attempt to dial them back a bit because I know if I was hearing someone say, oh, you know, constantly, I would probably get a little annoyed by it. So my apologies for that and I will be doing my best to notice and cut back on things like that from here on. Anyway, again, thank you very much. This is Kupo and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. So have a good one.